Okay, so this first question of the mix it up section um, is probably one of the more challenging questions that you're going to do. Um, you do have to recognize that, oh, this is, we're talking about cars, so chances are cars aren't going up and down vertically, which means this is just a normal constant acceleration problem. Um, but if we get into the question a little bit, we're going to realize that it, it follows a little bit of a different um, procedure. So we've got two cars lining up and they decide to race. The gr we have a green car that can only travel at a constant velocity of 60 kilometers an hour, um, but it reaches that velocity instantly. So we've got no acceleration for that car. It just goes at 60 kilometers instantly. Um, then we have a blue car that can only accelerate at 7.8 meters per second squared. Um, so we wanna figure out how long does it take for the blue car to pass the green car, okay? Because uh, if you think about these two cars starting, let's do a green car here. These are fast cars, so there's, there's the green car, right? This green car is going to instantly be going with an initial velocity of 60 kilometers per hour which if we do that calculation, we're going to get 16.7 meters per second. The blue car is going to start with an initial velocity of zero, but it has an acceleration of 7.8 meters per second squared. So initially, it's not going to be moving very fast. Right, it's gonna be going pretty slow over here, but by the time this car gets over here, it's gonna be going very fast. And it's probably gonna be going a lot faster than the green car. So how long does it take for this blue car to overtake, the blue car to overtake the green car? Um, so let's start with the green car a little bit, okay? So this green car is nice because there's no acceleration, okay? So what we can find or what we can look at, we can say the distance of the green car is just time times the velocity. So this thing is gonna travel 16.7 meters for every second. So in one second, it'll go 16.7 meters, in two seconds, it'll go 33.4 meters, and so on, okay? So that's nice, I'm gonna circle that. We can't solve that yet, two equations, or sorry, two unknowns. Um, the blue car, however, starts from rest, but has an acceleration, which means we can say the distance it's traveled is one half AT squared. So if we plug this in, one half times 7.8 times your time squared, well, the distance that this car is gonna go is just 7.8 divided by two, which is 3.9 times your time squared. So in one second, we just do a quick math. We know in one second, the green car has traveled 16.7 meters, but in one second, the blue car has only traveled 3.9 meters. So this car is way out in front. Um, in two seconds, this blue car has only traveled, well, two times two squared is four, four times four, 16 meters, whereas the green car has traveled 32 meters. So again, hasn't caught up. We need, but we can't just go step by step like that. We need a better way. And what we have here with the blue car and the green car, if we combine these two things together, um, what we have is a system of equations. We have two equations, two unknowns, right? We have two equations with two unknowns. And how this works is we wanna know, okay, when they pass each other, the trick here, when they pass each other, the distance of the green car is gonna be exactly the same as the distance of the blue car. For that split second that they pass each other, we wanna know how far have they gone, um, and they're gonna they're going to have exactly the same distance traveled, and we're gonna be able to figure out how long that takes. So if we use that, that idea, that the distance of the green car is gonna be exactly the same as the distance of the blue car, we can say that 16.7 times time is gonna equal 3.9 times t squared. And this right here is just a nice equation. We can cancel out the time and one 
and one of the times on the right side and then the time on the left side. And all we really have is a pretty simple equation, 16.7 is equal to 3.9 t. So our time is going to be 16.7 divided by 3.9. We take that, we punch that into our calculator, and we're going to get 4.3 seconds. So it's going to take 4.3 seconds for the two cars to have exactly the same distance, which means um, the blue car has now overtaken the green car.